Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. So far I'm liking her. Give her a shake, get her out of the box, and go. Now before I go any further, I am going to fix her a little bit more, but I wanted to tell you uh, about three weeks ago I was watching Taz's review of this wig. True by Aesthetica, and I, I really do like Aesthetica wigs for a couple of reasons. They usually fit me a little bit looser than some other brands. But I was watching this video of Taz as she was putting this wig on and <laughs> fluffing it up and talking all about it. And I said, you know what? I think I really like that wig. And what Taz is talking about is how, how fluffy and how full it is. And, and then, of course, she goes on to talk about the color. And, but as I was watching her, I thought, you know what? I really, really like that color. I really, really like that wig. And I think that I could make it work for me. But I didn't buy it in that same color. And now I kind of wish that I had. Not because I don't like this color. I really do like this color, iced gray the color iced gray. But look at the difference in the monitors. Now, see how white Taz's is? I don't really think it's that white in person, and I think that she talks about it in that video. Uh, because what happens is the cameras, pick, depending on the camera, depending on the lighting in the room, uh, it starts making, a, it can start to make a wig look much whiter or brighter than it really is. Now, I have worked so hard on my lighting. If I told you the amount of hours, everything that I've done to try to make these colors in this wig as true to in the monitor to your eye, to you on the other part, uh, side of the screen, I, I don't even know how many hours I have invested in it. And it's pretty close. What I'm looking at in my mirror is pretty close to what I'm looking in in my monitor. So, but I really wonder if I had purchased Silver Sun because Taz said it had a white base. So, those of you out there who are looking for more white, more silvery gray, I think looking at Taz's uh, color there, looking at this color here, I may even pick up. Um, this wig true in that silver sun base just to see the difference just to see how much more white it looks okay so obviously what we're seeing here is a very heavily layered with a very nice fringe lots of volume she does have permatease up on the top She's got some permatease on the side. It's not heavily pillowed, though. And so you're going to be able to take these, these layers here and just kind of push them forward with your hands like that, which personally I really like because I'm not fond of hair hanging down on my face, on my cheek area, but I really don't mind it so much if it's just all framing my face like that. And I think this part right here, that's very pretty, that's very feminine. Is she a different look than uh, a longer a longer wig like the one that you're seeing back there on um, the mannequin with the tall slender neck? That is L by uh, Jean Renault. And then the one that's further that's here, right there, that is Amaretto by Beltress. So this is a totally different look, but that's what's wonderful about wigs. You can have just totally different looks. But right now, and I have an average to large head, she feels pretty comfortable on my head. Um, she is machine made up at the top. You don't really need the lace front because you know you, you've got all of this bang covering that part of the wig. So that would really be unnecessary and, and a waste of money. But she is very comfortable on me. Okay, so before I move on to the color, let me just a little couple of other comments about just styling her, how she feels on your head. Uh, you could, of course, take your comb and you could smooth her down. 
She could be a little bit more sleek across the across that forehead area. If you want to see more smoothness there. I don't know that might you might feel that that ages you, but you know whatever. I think the beauty of this wig is you really can make her you can you can mess her up. You can make her look really full. If you wanted to have her have a um, smoother along the sides around your ears, you could certainly do that. Just for a little bit of a different look there. Let me see if we pull that. Just a little bit different, right? Now I am going to say this one thing, and I and I usually say this on, on almost every video. There's only a couple of wigs that I've ever had that have never ridden back on me. An aesthetica usually does not ride back on me, but this one is riding back. And so I will show you if I if I kept her on, if I move her just a little bit, she's going back. So even with this wig. Aesthetica, which runs a little bit large, she's feeling. I'm not feeling totally at peace uh, and comfortable right here. So again, I'd probably have to use the. It stays. I just put her up at the crown. I don't. I put her right up at the hairline. I put the. It stays right there, just right that two inch spot right there, and then I put my wig on and I'm I'm comfortable. So. Just in case you're you're like me and you're running large, because when I tried to do all the all the things that Taz was doing all around the the hairline, she started to move back on me. Nothing against the wig. I think my head is really larger than I think it is. Okay, so you could do that. You can make her have a little bit more of a pixie look if that's what you want. But I think she's really sweet. And let, let's talk a little bit about color here. Share my screen with you. I love doing that. Now here is Aesthetica's True in these two colors. So over here we have the Iced Gray, which is Platinum Gray with White Blend. Platinum Gray with White Blend. So when you hear Platinum, you're usually thinking of more in the uh, yellow very, 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 very pale, pale yellow, but you're usually thinking of that color, but then they blended it with the white, and I think it makes a beautiful combination. I'm not seeing any yellow at all in my monitor. None. All I'm seeing is glare from my glasses. That drives me crazy. Okay, and then there's Taz. That was my inspiration for purchasing this wig, and even there you can see how Taz has it all fluffed up, and now how I've had I have it kind of smoothed down. So there was my inspiration, Taz. And then here is the color that Taz has on, that Silver Sun 8. Ice blonde dusted with soft sand and golden brown roots. So there you can see the difference uh, between the iced gray and the Silver Sun. But when I looked at the Silver Sun, to me, to my to my eye, it, it just, I didn't see icy anything, but I trust Taz, and I know that she said that they have, they had that. So I thought, oh no, I'm going to get it home, I'm going to get it in my hand, and it's going to be yellow. And now I kind of wish that I could see it in person, just to see the difference, because I've been looking at that Silver Sun for a while. Okay, but this color is absolutely true to hopefully what you're seeing in your monitor. I'm not seeing any yellow whatsoever. I'm loving it. Let me give you the full view. Very pretty. Right? I think both Silver Sun and I think both and Iced Gray are both very pretty. Now I'm going to take her outside. 
How does she feel? She feels, she feels almost like real hair. She, in, in my opinion, she looks very much like real hair. So she does feel very, very, very comfortable to the touch. It's not, I don't know, it's it's more hair perhaps than, than I'm used to. Uh, it is very lush, it is very full, but I wouldn't call it dense. There's just a lot of it. There's just a lot of hair. Um, and I suppose there needs to be because of all those layers. You wouldn't have all those layers if you didn't have enough hair to cut the layers into. Okay, so the question was asked by Miss Taz. Will you pick or will you pass? Well, I think I'm going to keep her. Because yes, I know if I put on L back there, I will look younger. But I just like this. I like the shortness. It, it looks like something that I could, that I might reach for during the summer months. Yes, she is open wefted at the top. Um, she's got lots of cooling features there. She does have the permatease, which kind of surprises me because I don't usually go for permatease. Too much volume, too much going on up here, but you can smooth that down. She really is like a, reminds me of the shag styles uh, way back when. But I, I think that the shag styles are always fun, and I think that they're always in. You know, you're either, you're either in a longer shag or you're in a shorter shag. Uh, but there's, I think that there's a lot that you can do with True by Aesthetica. She fits average to large, although as I've already said, she does feel on me a little bit snug. So that tells me I really am a true, a true large. Maybe my head's getting larger as I get older. <laughs> I don't know. She does have a four inch bang. Looks a little bit longer than four inches to me, but the specs say she's got a four inch bangs. The sides, three and a half, which is one of the reasons I think they look so pretty pushed forward. She has five inches at the crown, five inches. Nape is two inches at the nape. And she weighs 2.68 ounces. She really is very light on the head. I've had her on now for oh about an hour and she feels she feels very comfortable except like I said she is starting to ride back so on my hairline I would need on me I would need the it stays or maybe a couple of bobby pins strategically placed in the west just so she doesn't move back. The other thing that deserves mentioning here as well is Aesthetica has created a pure stretch cap which I appreciate and it again it has those open wefts for comfort and weighs 2.68 ounces. Now just feeling around for permatees she does not have I wouldn't say she's got overly too much permatease. I think she's got just enough so that you're, you're going to get that lift and that volume if that's what you want. It's up at the crown. I can feel it here on the sides but again it's not it's not too much, and I'm not a, a great big fan of permatease. Also, when you look down into the top of the wig, you're not seeing a whole bunch of nesting going on there, which you sometimes will see, especially for a wig that we would put in the affordable category uh, because of what this price, what the wig costs. I can't remember what I paid for her, but I know that uh, she certainly isn't a $300 wig, but I think that she does have... Uh, the look of an expensive wig without the expensive price tag. So I, yes, I would put her in the affordable category for sure. Her fibers are really very soft. They're really very silky. They, they look very much like real hair. They, to the touch, it feels very much like real hair. To the shine, as you'll see in some photos that I took later, pick up the light beautifully, but not too much, not fake looking, just they really just pick up the light beautifully. I think she's such a cute wig. I really do. I can't stop touching her.
So I'm standing right underneath a skylight and it really does pick up all the beautiful colors in this wig. I'm so glad you joined me today on this episode of Silver Linings for this review of Aesthetica's True in the color Ice Gray. If you like, give it a like and hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And always remember, look for the silver linings. Bye-bye.